Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video. I'm going to do a reading for the energy. I got the Kipper deck. Start off with to see what the main card or so is. Okay, can we have a message for today's energy, please? Message for energy for today. What's the scoop? Courtship. That there's a number four on that card, which is the number usually for the emperor and protection and uh, someone, you know, uh, someone who is a leader. Very dapper looking there, but very smart. They got their finances in order and there's a, the card of courtship. So somebody may want to court you. Take you out on a date. Whoa, when I said that, two, th two cards topped out. Three, three. Okay. We have house. I'm not sure what that's about. Something about a house. But uh, 20 breaks down. That's like divine, divine uh intervention but i'm not sure what the house card means in the kipper deck let me read it there we go it came right up i do need uh, i'm gonna switch glasses <laughs> okay because i'm learning this new deck too but i've never pulled the house card the signet uh the significator has arrived at the fine hold on let me show at the fine wrought iron gates of an impressive five-story queen and mansion, which blazes with gaslights. It is a waning moon or an eclipse of the sun. Are we coming for dinner or a ball? The scene is ripe with potential and suspense. Literally, of course, this is a house, home property, real estate, land dealings, buildings. Abstractly, it represents safety, family, coziness, security. It is the things you hold and that hold you. From this arise, arises the idea of long-term investments of resources and energy. Okay, this card shows your family, neighborhood, house, home, or buildings, or real estate in general. It also stands for stability and security. This might be a secure and safe job or a job with real estate. The house can also indicate a solid, strong, and steady relationship. This could be actual house or apartment, home, or and security or real estate. This is a lucky card when they're the significator, okay, which is the courtship card. Okay, so this come this coming out with the courtship card is a lucky card. The people who surround it can be dangerous. The timing is approximately six months. So maybe there were people uh, trying to do something with the house here that uh, with real estate or trying to um, affect your property. That's, but it sounds more like this is like a lucky card. I didn't expect that last sentence. Oh, okay. That's uh, if it's a significant, uh, I can't say that word, signifier, I'm going to say. That's when um, it's, okay. These two cards are great together. The last sentence I read would I have to bend that with another card. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm learning this too, but this sounds pretty good. We have courtship and something to do with a house at, or this is going to happen, this courtship. You're getting lucky here. Uh, the coffin did come out. This could be about uh, transformation, death and rebirth. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's clarify the house and the courtship. House and courtship, please. Okay, we got main female. Okay, 
So you're the main female in this story, or somebody is. Um, somebody's holding a rose. Flowers could be significant, okay? And then distant horizons. I read about this the other day. This is a very lucky card also. There's a lot of possibilities, and uh, this could also be a card of a vacation or travel. And there could be a false person involved. I wasn't going to pull this, uh, I wasn't going to even show this, but that would have been cheating. But it came out a couple times, so it doesn't have to be part of your story. But, uh, okay. And I don't know, they, they show a woman, you know, in red, and then somebody in the background, you know, kind of with a mask. So something could have happened here with this house there could have been a false person clarify this false person who's the false person i could pull regular tarot because like i said who's this false person you're you with these you pull a few and then you kind of okay so all right all right but but it is telling telling a story okay so someone is thinking about you heavily and this could be something to do with uh, the justice system, with real estate or something like that. You know your story. I, And then the lovers coming out in the lucky card. Oh, my goodness. Expectation. Uh, I know somebody, some people may be pregnant, but I think this is... Um, Someone like expecting you to return or expecting you, you know, wow, look at this. We got courthouse too. So something definitely happened either, you know, with the justice system of marriage possibly. If this was a false person, could have been a divorce or something about real estate. If this isn't your story, but if you, if it is part of your story and you've been like, confused and up in the air there is a message coming in or the message could be from this whoever's thinking about you here heavily right so there there is a message coming in i'm gonna pull a little bit this here real quick holy spirit please whoa that one wanted to come out right away knight of pentacles here that's a a solid person very, you know, log, log, they use logic. They got their stuff together. This is somebody who works or worked very hard to make, bleh, to make sure that they would be stable in life. You know, this is somebody who, that takes a lot of discipline. This could be um, a military person. I'm getting analytical. Uh, the gold represents, wow, well, whatever. That's who's coming out for maybe this message and this whoever's thinking about you. We had, looks like divine intervention had to step in here, I knew, which I didn't, I was going to say I knew it, but I can see that there was some kind of trouble here that somebody had, so divine stepped in if somebody was messing with your home maybe divine had to step in and and take care of it if you know people were doing this to somebody but the temperance card is about balancing being able to be patient and obedient and you know um giving it you know going with the flow balancing your masculine and feminine your emotions Maybe someone's a high priestess here. You had to do that to become this high priestess. And um, this is a person who is all-knowing, so figures out the story. Somebody could be um, clear or psychic, ha have psychic abilities of some sort. There's a, a significant, this is significant, there's a hawk on this card. You could be seeing hawks. Look how beautiful that card is, though. Now, look at this. Now we have the King of Pentacles. You could be the King of Pentacles, or now the Knight of Pentacles is coming in as the King of Pentacles. That could be, okay, you did walk away from somebody. 
you did walk away from something here. Uh, maybe it was the false person. Remember I said uh, adjudication, maybe it was a, you know, separation, divorce. You're walking away from something, but you're walking into something better. The, look at the gold and the light in the background. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here, or this could be what you walked away from. Addictions, toxic uh, patterns, um, you know, and, and with that temperance card coming out, that's what I feel like you walked away from. It could be somebody, but I think you also walked away from a lot of th things that were not good for you. You know what I mean? Uh, and someone's a page of cups or a message of uh, maybe a love message, something from a water sign uh, or just a message regarding love uh, is coming in. A text, something like that. That's a second uh, message card. This is saying the battle's over, so maybe now you're going to get a message about that. This is, uh, you know, putting a, that's it. That I always use the battle's over, and it comes up right at the right time. So this is a card of healing, too. And there's a lot of light in the background, you know what I mean? And that, actually, his head's turned that way, or kind of on his shoulder like in defeat. Uh, sometimes they say in tarot that... Um, uh, the battle's over, or is it? So, you know, just could be cautious here. Somebody had a death and rebirth transformation, or somebody's a Scorpio. Rest and recovery after what happened. You know, something definitely happened with the force, or someone's thinking about you heavily. Uh, this is a church, you know, so someone's laying in a church, kind of resting. And getting some guidance, obviously, coming through here. And then there's the P for peace. We got judgment coming out after this. Uh, that's that's making things fair, recog um, recognizing the situation, and balancing, balancing it out, doing the right thing, uh, success. There was a, somebody who tried to put you into a mental prison or somebody's in like a mental prison. This is kind of a card of depression. Uh, you know, if you're seeing, that's like devil on one shoulder, angel on the other, circling thoughts. This could have happened to you or somebody could have, uh, this false, false person for whoever story this is could have done that to you. King of Wands. If this King of Wands is, um, you know, I'm not saying this is the King of Wands who did this. I was going to say that this King of Wands could be the King of Pentacles. Uh, now, like, coming in as the King of Wands with passion. And, you know, um, then we have the Queen. I keep saying, um, um, i catching myself now that I'm recording these. And I have to stop it because it's driving my own self crazy. Okay, we got a Queen of Pentacles here. I don't know if this is you, if you're the Queen of Pentacles, but we have a King and Queen of Pentacles, which is very good here. Somebody is thinking about traveling towards you, or you've been waiting for a while. A boat could be significant. Uh, cruise, travel plans, maybe. Just, you know, looking out. Somebody wants to have success with you now with the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of good options to choose from, but the this it with uh, this specific deck, the rainbow is up here because this is the main thing they want you to look at. Notice how there's nothing crappy in the cup like in, in the other ones, right? The castle is the main thing, and then there's something about a house. So this is uh, with the rainbow there saying, you know, maybe things worked out. But you, you're going to have a lot of uh, good opportunities and options at your, I wanted to say feet, but it's uh, fingertips or whatever. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that is a that is a new beginning. A lot of earth here. Could be a page of wands watching you or a page of wands coming in with uh, a fast message. We got two pages so far. Uh, I don't know if it's this King of Swords. I'm starting to think Emperor here because 
Um, we had three different kings. King of Swords, he's in a good, you know, I'm getting a good vibration from this card. It could be a Gemini, you know what I mean? It doesn't uh, mean that they are in this sword energy. Something could have happened to him if, if it was with this house or her, whatever. That puts you into, you know, just a protective mode. This could be somebody from the past. And it's funny, with that Eight of Cups, okay, that walking away into something better. I always feel like they're so similar, the light. And this is probably something better here. Somebody... You guys have a lot of fun, childlike energy. Maybe, I feel like maybe both of you went through this and somebody wants to come back and celebrate with you with the Three of Cups here. They are stuck on you with the Eight of Swords. Probably thinking about you constantly or you're, you're thinking about then. As long as it isn't getting toxic in your mind, you know what I mean, uh, then it's okay. But if it's too much, you don't want that. You got to figure out uh, how to balance that out because fear can take over false expectations. We got collaboration, three of pentacles. That's a beautiful card. Somebody may want to collaborate with you, uh, work on things. He's working on something, um, work on things together now because there was a separation okay something like that oh look at the justice so things are going to be made fair maybe this person wants to make things fair now or something like that we have the ten of pentacles generational wealth yep there was a decision here uh this is a like two you know here's the two Sorry, my nose is itching right now. There was a decision to be made uh, here, and maybe somebody just couldn't at the time. We got the King of Cups. We got all four kings out. So this person went from the, is, you know, the King of Pentacles, then the King of Wands, then to the King of Swords, now in this loving King of Cups energy. Look at the Two of Cups coming out. I can't even believe this. Two of Cups, soulmate, and that Six of Cups. Somebody could have hid feelings or could be in their emotions about it. Funny, this is coming out with the new moon. This this moon, please, I, I never really thought this could be a thing. That it definitely can mess with your speech. You know how people like say the... I don't know why I can't talk today. I've been hearing that my whole life. It's not just the reader. Some, you know, that's what this moon can do. Uh, it depends on your birth chart and how it affects you. Sometimes people tell me this, you know, oh, I, I couldn't sleep last night or I had dreams. And I'm just the opposite. Uh, you know, when the when they're saying that they're witnessing negative things I usually am just the opposite of that so I think it's birth chart related <laughs> so somebody could be in their um, emotions uh, my nose is itching saying this so I feel like it's true but balancing the scales out look at the same light as the other two cards this is making things um, even could be a Libra after a breakup here we got the Empress. <laughs> Empress coming out. That's the tower moment. I think this is going to be a tower moment for somebody. Maybe you're not expecting it. Or maybe this breakup happened. Boom. Suddenly. Uh, and, and you know. It just threw everybody for a loop. And things got a little mixed up. That's what the tower is. But. Uh, I mean. Things are looking up. Because after that tower went down. With the world card coming out, this could be something going on social media or this could be um, raising your vibration, elevating, having the world at your fingertips, success, transformation. Somebody may want um, the, to give you the world. You know, this could be your, if this is your soulmate, you guys are going to go public or somebody could have traveled the world. You were your person. 
This is a great card to get here. This person's watching you here with the Page of Swords, or this is another message coming in. We have, uh, yeah, three, three pages out. This could be from a Gemini. This is somebody you already planted seeds with here. You love this person. Look how happy she is planting her seeds. And this could be about money, too. You planted uh, your seeds in a job or you, you're you growing your money. But uh, there's money here. There's money there. There could be a, a couple different avenues of income coming in for you. Or this could be you planting seeds in that relationship. And now somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. Uh, start over. I always say ground zero. I know I say the same thing, but I love that. Starting from ground zero, um, working on, you know, communication and things so that there won't be any troubles at all. Um, we have, you know, a, a pretty cool couple here. I, I'm wondering where the emperor is. Okay. The Knight of Wands is here. I'm not sure why it's coming out now on this uh this fool card, well, after this fool card, but it's at the bottom of the deck, so somebody could have been in this Knight of Wands, or both of you could have been in this Knight of Wands energy. Um, this is also somebody impulsive, it could have been the person you walked away from. Truth, clarity here. The Ace of Swords, victory. Victory, success, recognition, unbelievable. Uh, you could have had to defend yourself or heal against something. This is a card of healing. We have the sevens out here, too. This, And then after that comes the hermit, which is more healing. This could be a Virgo also you're dealing with. There was a seven of swords. And then this is the second time this knight of pentacles is coming out. So this person could have held back from you in the past or has been holding on to you. Either one. You know, you well, you will find out because the Ace of Swords is here. Uh, somebody just could have had a lot of burdens on them at the time. Both of you could have. And look at a house in the background. Not every nine of uh, wands has a house in the background. So that's the third time. I don't know what, you know, but you're healing here too with the nine of wands. A lot of healing, a lot of healing. That's why this is coming in. This lovers, this is, these people make for life. This is Romeo and Juliet. Oh, the moon again. Cranes mating for life. This is the chariot. This is wish fulfillment, cancer energy. Look how fast those horses are moving. Something's coming in fast now. And here's another. <laughs> All the pages are out. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, take it as it resonates. You definitely did walk away from something here. Now you're the Queen of Cups. So we have a King and Queen of Cups. You manifested this. You're the Magician, High Priestess, Magician, maybe one or both of you. Then we got Taurus energy. So uh, this could also be about a commitment or, you know what I mean, a relationship or just change, you know, with the... Especially with that five, five, 5 portal, this is a 5 card. That could be a powerful leader, too, doing something on social media worldwide That with the world card. Okay, uh, this could have been a Pisces that was stuck, uh, or you could have been stuck. Somebody got a new perspective, and Divine had to step in again. That's the second one, uh, because this person, you know, or you were stuck in the past. Got to stop thinking, but uh, this got balanced here. This this got balanced out, and that's why it's coming in now. We got the, the I was going to say Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it is the Wheel of Fortune. I get confused with the, the world came out too. So this is like, this is a high-vibing card. This is uh, pretty much having luck on your side now. Uh, divine timing, however, is, you know, you never know. And twice divine timing. This could be your divine masculine, divine feminine, new cycle here, new beginnings, and things are going to be beautiful. Look at the ton of cups in my hand. Wow. Yeah, there was something. There was an injustice. You were blinded to the tower came down 
and now you're moving to calmer waters. You guys are moving forward together. Now we got, see, we got, we got king and queen of everything here. Fast, fast action. Um, what when divine, <laughs> divine timing in the eight of wands. This is a, somebody wanting to move quickly and message you, but remember divine timing. So, but uh, it is movement forward finally with this in the chariot. There's the emperor. I was waiting for you, buddy. The number four card came out right away, and this is the emperor, too. So, somebody was protecting you, probably, against all this conflict. You may not have even known that somebody was protecting you here. Passionate new beginning. Hand to God stepped in. Someone wants the nine of cups success with you, too. That. That's uh, that's just like a success card. Maybe you're going to be successful together. That's, um, I mean, you got the Ten of Cups, but the Nine of Cups involves, you know, a little bit more. There's a, there's a lot, lot of goodness in this card. I feel like somebody's proud of you or something like that here. You are very strong or a Leo and an Aquarius back, back to back. So somebody could have just been excuse me, very strong, or a Leo here, taming a beast, transmuting energy, the star in the world, somebody's doing something on social media, or Aquarius energy, look at baby, we got the soulmate 11-11 a card, this is the best card in the deck right here, little bit of everything, I'm so happy the way this played out, you guys could be working on your money right now though, or craft right now, you know, that could be something you're doing while you're waiting for this Ace of Cups to come in. I can't believe the way this story came out. Wow. Um, we got a Knight of Swords here. This could be somebody in the who was angry in the past or just uh, this could be the person you walked away from is in this. This is an energy, most, you know, mostly. This is a energy of anger or disappointment and queen of swords we got okay and now we got a knight of cups coming in okay so even if this knight of swords was angry he's now coming in as the knight of cups and that's the truth to give you truth and clarity to give you this is wish wish yeah i get i get wish fulfillment <laughs> This is, we got the moon, now the sun coming out. Everything's, wow. I'm going to pull a romance angel because I'm like, I use the whole deck and the kipper, but let's see how much time. It only took 28 minutes, which sounds like a lot, but 28 could be significant. Maybe something's happening in 28 days or somebody's birthday's on the 28th. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Whoa, that one flew out. You deserve love. You are lovable. Oh, whoop, I dropped it. That guy wanted to fly around. Uh, let your friends help you. That could have been when, you know, when things happen in the tower and stuff. Ask, ask for and accept support. This, support from others. See, now I can't, I can't talk now. Uh, even if. You know, you did already ask friends for help. This could be a advice. Maybe you're a person who wants to do, to do the, oh my gosh, to do everything alone. Ask your friends for help or fa someone who, you know, you get sound advice from your person. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy at of all. Attraction. You, you're, oh my God, please, I cannot talk. And it's only like eight in the morning. You attract ro a romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Go with the flow, ebb and flow. Look at honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Second time with the boat, second time with the uh, travel. Getting to know each other, getting to know each other again. See, that's beautiful. As you re you reveal your innermost selves to each other, 
your bond deepens. Make the effort, though. Someone's got to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Mm. Hey, at least you didn't. And look at your calling in your soulmate. It, that you that was in your reading. Calling in your soulmate. Trust the process. Divine timing. This situation is calling for you to have faith. This is true love. That's why. Unconditional. This is the romance of a lifetime. Engagement? Come on. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I'm done. Oh, I can't be. Soulmate. Two of cups, soulmate. Double clarification. Yes, this is your soulmate. There was a separation. So this, okay, this is, if this is your story, I'm getting all hyped up. The, you know your story. There was a separation here. So this is telling the exact story. So still pay attention to red flags because there were people involved. Uh, and, you know, there was conflict. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It could be right now still. Um, somebody, you know, uh, if they were stuck or whatever, the chariot says that things are moving along. Um, still, you have romantic feelings. Definitely, this is just an advice card to pay attention to the red flags. You definitely have romantic feelings for this person. Your feelings are real and worth experiencing. You had to love yourself first. So this is it. I um, Don't forget to hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And have a beautiful day, guys.